year. We got three teams that year, as did the ACC. I think we're better. We're ranked number eight in the RPI right now, which doesn't guarantee much at all, but you have to consider the fact that wins and losses in the league mean a little more than they do in a year when we're not ranked as high as we are. So uh, I would think that we're certainly in line for multiple berths. Let's hope it's three, and, and certainly uh, I think we'll see some, some great postseason play. I think we could see as many as three more in the NIT. Enjoy it tonight. That's Doug Elgin. The game is coming up next. Northern Iowa, Greg McDermott, they're in town here in Carbondale. They'll take on Southern Illinois. They very well could be the champions, and maybe tonight they could get a co-championship tonight, depending on what happens with Wichita State. The Valley, always fun. Thanks for being with us for the Marshall Wireless pregame show. Opening tip, the lineups, and Chris Piper will join us. Coming up next. Weeknights on FX. Hey, how do you and Dale keep the sauce simmering in your marriage? And do not say communicate, because there are some things Hank just will not do. We're taking you straight to Hill. King of the Hill, weeknights on FX. Gray McDermott has the building blocks in place. A chance for the Panthers of Northern Iowa to make another run at a Valley Championship. Chris Lowry, though, feels he's got the right pieces to the puzzle as Southern Illinois is trying to go for an unprecedented fourth consecutive MBC Championship. Another step will be taken tonight. The Valley Game of the Week coming up next. <laughs> State Farm proudly presents the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. From SIU Arena on the campus of Southern Illinois, the Salukis play host to the Northern Iowa Panthers. Southern Illinois right now, number one in the conference. The standings brought to you by Edward Jones. If they can win tonight and Wichita State would lose this evening against SMS, the Salukis would at minimum be a co-champion in the NBC. With Chris Piper, my name is Dan McLaughlin, and welcome to our Game of the Week here in the Missouri Valley Conference. We're about a week and a half away from what we call Arch Madness, the postseason tournament in St. Louis. And if you're looking at two of the better teams, you're going to get a preview of those two teams tonight. Yeah, two definitely very competitive programs. Only Northern Iowa has been able to beat Southern Illinois twice in the last three years. Southern Illinois has been dominant. They're looking for their fourth straight Missouri Valley regular season title. Well, Darren Brooks is the reigning player of the year, but he's going to get a run for that title this season because of that man, Ben Jacobson. Well, one of the best pure scorers in the league. He can dictate the inside off the dribble he can pull up off the dribble for the jumper and got unlimited range as well coming off a huge performance Saturday against Western Michigan with 29 points he is a sneaky pure scorer you have to be able to stay on him and he's smart where he gets his shots on the other side for Southern Illinois we always talk about the three great guards but let's talk about Matt Shaw the freshman he stepped up into the starting lineup the last eight games averaging over 10 points a game throughout that span this is a guy that finally gives this Southern Illinois team some presence offensively inside the paint. They are rocking and rolling here in Carbondale, trying to make it four straight years with a Valley Championship. The opening tip, starting lineups, coming up next. Yeah, having a little car trouble. I'm State Farm Agent Larry Bitterman, and this is a true story. I was there on vacation, so I called the local State Farm Agent. We're not really sure how the car got into the lake. Yeah, the map was a disappointment. They called a local diver, and it turns out that's me too. I think he started my claim before it even dried off. And we settled it the next day. Where would I have been without him? Sunk. Any insurance company can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Back in the 1800s, when my great-great-grandfather, Adolphus, uh, began brewing Budweiser, getting a nice cold beer in the West wasn't even possible, so he came up with an idea. Refrigerated railroad cars and ice houses along the railroad in order to get Budweiser across the country in the freshest possible condition. That sure made a lot of cowboys happy back then. Today, we take the same pride in bringing our customers not only the very best tasting beer, but the freshest beer possible. Marie Callender was like a lot of grandmas, and nobody has ever indulged us like grandma. A cookie before dinner, the extra scoop, even a fort in the living room was just fine. 
And Marie Callender's also believes in a little indulgence, so we never cut corners. Like our chicken pot pie. It has a flaky crust made from scratch that's filled, filled with tender chicken and crisp vegetables. Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. Sit down, eat, enjoy. Hey, Bob. Yeah, have you disinfected the area? Good. Now make a three-inch incision between the fourth and fifth abdominal muscles. Shouldn't you be doing this? It's really straightforward. Listen, I gotta go, Bob. I'll talk to you later. Making important financial decisions on your own doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones prefers meeting clients face-to-face, -face so they can get the attention they deserve. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Budweiser, the bright color and crisp, clean taste you'll only find in the king of beers. By Edward Jones, making sense of investing. By ConAgra Foods, we set America's table at home and away. And by Chrysler, inspiration comes standard. Back at SIU Arena, big, big crowd tonight. And a very important game for both sides. Positioning on the line for Arch Madness coming up in a week and a half in downtown St. Louis at the Savas Center. Northern Iowa coming south to take on Southern Illinois. With Chris Piper, I'm Dan McLaughlin. There's a look at Greg McDermott coaching at uh, his alma mater. Fourth year as the Panthers head coach. What a job he has done. He scored over 1,000 points in his career with Northern Iowa. Now the head coach. He took them to the field of 64 last year as he won the postseason tournament. His lineup brought to you by Bud Light. Grant Stout, he's a good, good player underneath. Eric Coleman, one of the top newcomers in this conference. Eric Crawford, they say he's their best defender. Jacobson averaging nearly 20 a game, and then Brooks McCowan always solid as well. Meanwhile, for Southern Illinois, Matt Shaw inserted into that starting lineup, and that has made a huge difference off the bench in the first 20 games. He has started the last eight, 10 points and six rebounds in those games. His averages, Josh Warren, Darren Brooks, the player of the year reigning, then Jamal Tatum and Stetson Hairston. Brooks and Hairston over 1,000 points in their careers. Well, Chris Lowry is the fifth youngest coach in Division I right now, 22-6 and six in his first year as a head coach of the Salukis, former player, former assistant, and now, Chris, he has been bumped up to the head coach. Our keys to the game are brought to you by Chrysler. Well, for Northern Iowa, they have to maximize possessions. It's a great shooting team. Their problem, though, is when they turn the ball over, don't get good luck, set the basket. When they do have opportunities, they generally maximize those. Also, you've got to get the big guys involved inside, Grant Stout and Eric Coleman. You know you've got the great guard outside with Ben Jacobson. When they play well, those big guys inside are playing well and getting points in the paint. For Southern Illinois, second chance points. They cannot give up offensive rebounds, and they also have an opportunity against a smaller Northern Iowa team uh, getting on the glass. And then the ever so important thing, senior leadership late in the season, Darren Brooks, Stetson Harrison have to be able to lead this team to finish things off strong as they wind down their careers. Chrysler keys to the game where inspiration comes standard. We take a look at our series history brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio with over 120 channels of commercial free music, news, talk and sports for the car home or anywhere you go. Get Sirius today and ride the big dog. Southern Illinois leads the all-time series, 21-12. You and I, though, has won the last two meetings between the two schools. In the last meeting between these two schools at the Uni Dome, it was Ben Jacobson in a victory with 18. Seven straight, though, the Salukis have won here at SIU Arena. And they win, win, win here at home. You take a look at what they have done, Chris, over the last few seasons. They're 45 and six in regular season play since 2002-03 campaign. Here at home, nearly unbeatable. Unbeatable, 34 straight Missouri Valley home games. You look at the winning streak, 22, the third longest in the country behind Oklahoma State and I think Cincinnati in that right. position as well. But you know the thing that surprises me in, in, about Southern Illinois, and it's really an amazing number, is over this streak that they've done the last four years, they've had three different coaches and they've been able to maintain and continue that winning streak that they've done in the winning ways that Bruce Weber instilled in this program a few years ago. Well, and a chance, of course, for Southern Illinois to win their unprecedented fourth consecutive NBC title. Northern Iowa was the team that represented the Valley along with Southern Illinois last year in the field of 64 as uh, Northern Iowa behind Greg McDermott pulled off the upset. A lot of people believe that uh, he has done possibly the best job in the Valley over the last two seasons. 
Well, Northern you, Iowa, when you look at that facility, not an easy place to recruit at the Uni Dome. Well, but you, the thing about Northern Iowa, you know, they are close to one more win puts them 20 wins for the second time in a row. That's never happened in the history of Northern Iowa, so that shows you what Greg McDermott has done, rebuilding and turning this program around, making them a contender year in and year out. Paul Jansen, Don Daly, and Dave Drocker are officials for tonight's contest. The Salukis in their home whites. The Panthers in their road purple uniforms. Big crowd on their feet here at SIU Arena, and we hope you enjoy it. The NBC presented by State Farm, and the Panthers win the opening tip, and it's man-to-man -man by Southern Illinois. Well, Southern Illinois is going to throw man-to-man -man at you all the time, try to be aggressive on the ball, look for them to double off ball screens. See how that Northern Iowa is able to get Ben Jacobson involved in their offense. That's a travel on Brooks McCowan, the first turnover in this game, and now the Salukis will have their first possession of the ball game. Well, early already we're seeing Northern Iowa turn the ball over without getting a look at the basket, and that's what the Southern Illinois team will do to you with that pressure at those three guard spots. So effective not only at stealing the ball, but forcing the team into unforced errors. This is Stetson Hairston honored before the game, along with Darren Brooks. Two new members of the 1,000-point club. Hairston for three. No good, and it's pulled away by Eric Crawford, the junior from Oakdale, Minnesota. Here's Jacobson trying to force it inside to the lefty, Eric Coleman. Jacobson, deep three. Yes, boy, he can knock it down. How about that? Ben Jacobson. Unbelievable. Nice read on the pick up top. He felt the double team. He tried to throw it back on the pick and roll to Grant Stout. Southern Illinois able to break that up, but how about the quick release of Ben Jacobs? And what a look there, Darren Brooks to his teammate Harrison. Those two seniors and the two winningest seniors in this program's history. Great movement off the ball that time by Stetson Harrison, finding the opening underneath the lane. These two guys have had a lot of wins together, haven't they? Absolutely. Here's Jacobson, goes inside to Coleman. Chance set a three-point play the conventional way. Eric Coleman, the freshman. Watch Ben Jacobson. He felt the double team, and they kicked it out. Then Darren Brooks doesn't get back with him. He thinks that they're getting the turnover. doesn't get quite there, and Ben Jacobson only needs a second to get it off. Stetson Harrison coming from the weak side and just beats Brooks McCowan across the lane. A major no-no there defensively. Brooks McCown's got to get off of the ball. He won't allow that cut to get through if he does so. Fans that follow the Valley, in particular the Panthers of Northern Iowa, were wondering who would fill the shoes of Gruber and Schneiderman, two seniors that uh, played big roles last year, and you just saw the man at the free throw line. He's one of them that's filled in, and really somewhat of a surprise, Eric Coleman could be the newcomer of the year. Yeah, he's been tremendous for Northern Iowa. And Grant Stout as well, playing extremely well this season. They've given two guys long inside. Warren a little strong with that, and then he goes over the back trying to get the rebound. And it's back to Northern Iowa, and quickly a substitution here for Chris Lowry. Coming into the ball game will be Randall Falker, and uh, Warren will have a seat, the senior. Well, you can see what Northern Iowa is doing defensively. They're just playing off of Josh Warren inside. Really trying to play him single up in there and let him go over the top. He's really not a pure scorer in the paint. And Chris Lowry recognizes that, changes up, puts Falker in the game who can make that bucket happen inside. This is Chris Foster, got it inside. They find the open man, Eric Crawford for three. Great start for Northern Iowa here in the first two minutes plus. And a nice look to the weak side by Eric Coleman. He's a guy that Greg McDermott calls probably the best passing big man he's ever coached. The sophomore Jamal Tatum answering for Southern Illinois. We're just underway. Glad you're with us. It's 9-4 Panthers. Northern Iowa has been perfect from the field. Three of three. This is Jacobson. And Tatum's all over him. Little weave out top. Jacobson on the baseline. Tough shot. Forced it maybe. And it's pulled away by Shaw. Nice patience by Northern Iowa, though, looking, trying to find the main guy to get the shot off. Hairston for three. And just like that, it's back to a two-point lead for Northern Iowa. Well, they honored Stetson Hairston, Darren Brooks before the game, 1,000-point 
career scores here, and Stetson Harrison fired up a little bit. You know, Southern Illinois so tough to guard, I think, Dan, when they're hitting those shots from the outside. Opens up the inside. Tatum strong to the goal and draws the foul as he hit the deck. Well, what it does, though, also is, is it makes that defense play stronger on the perimeter. And with guys like Jamal Tatum, if they get him out to come out on the three-point shot, he can put the ball down on the floor and take it to the basket, which I, I really think is the strength of this Southern Illinois team is the ability to put the ball down on the floor and drive to the basket. This is one of the top shooters in the conference, in particular from long range, Jamal Tatum. 74% free throw shooter. Rattles out on the first one. See, that's what happens every time. You say that guy's a good free throw shooter. He can really hit the outside shot, but they miss the front end of the uh, the two shot foul. Throw a little curse on him. Yeah, never fails. I think it seems like that. And I don't mean to, of course. And he missed both of them. He gave him the double whammy. Rarely will you see that from Tatum. And rarely from Southern Illinois. 74 percent as a team from the free throw line. Top free throw shooting team of the conference. Good defense there by Tatum. Foster looking for help and he has it in Crawford. Crawford got it uh, poked away by Brooks, the defensive player of the year of the conference. Very well could be it again this season. Tatum pulls up. No good. Shaw had a hand on it. Got it back inside the freshman. Matt Shaw. Well, and that's why he's moved himself into the starting lineup, just to hustle play inside, doing the dirty work, using his body to get in position for the offensive rebound. A no-frills player that gets it done in the paint. Here's Foster at the elbow to Jacobson. Now they've got Brooks all over Jacobson. Crawford. And a steal. Falker. The best defensive team in this conference as well. Brooks says, why not? Tries the three, no good. Falker inside. My goodness, what a play. Randall Falker. And a steal. Brooks kicks it out. Tatum thought about the three. And the Salukis get it back after the pass by Falker off his face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was designed to come back in his hands, wasn't it? And that is a whistle against Falker, offensive foul as he was trying to set the pick. But Randall Falker, they are excited about him inside the valley and here in Southern Illinois. Look at that rebound. Strong inside. And it's 11-9, so Lukey's on top. Chrysler Town & Country is no ordinary minivan. It's your haven, a place designed to make your life easier. Where a five-star side crash test rating gives you peace of mind. And the revolutionary Stow & Go stores the seats and your stuff. While a DVD player entertains you on the road. Town & Country truly is one of America's hottest products. And now's the time to take one home. Now get zero plus. That means zero percent financing plus February bonus cash for up to 7,900 in total savings on Town & Country. Shocking upsets, the best sports heroes, the sexiest athletes, the biggest sports scandals, and much more. Hosted by Summer Sanders. Every night, a new list. Every night, the new argument. The Sports List, weeknights on FSN. Just underway, first half action. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin, the NBC, presented by State Farm. We hope you stay around halftime. The Cardinal Glennon Halftime Report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. Our love for kids just keeps on growing. Southern Illinois on a 9-0 run the last 2.30. And during that stretch, Northern Iowa got away from what made them successful, really, in the first couple of minutes, not turning the ball over. They had uh, three turnovers in that stretch in 0 for 2 shooting. Well, Southern Illinois' defense will do that to you. They speed you up a little bit on the offensive end. 
And right now, Northern Iowa is not getting anything going in the paint. Need to try and see if they can get Grant Stout active a little bit, relieve a little bit of that pressure that Southern Illinois is putting out on the floor. Here's Jacobson. Got it blocked by Brooks. His wingspan is so long, and it's deceiving at six foot three. Well, in his pursuit as well, I think Ben Jacobson thought he had left Darren Brooks, but he put on a burst of speed and got right back to him. Draws contact inside, but that's going to go against Darren Brooks. Darren Brooks just goes right by, but Grant Stout coming over for the help defense. Darren Brooks so effective putting the ball down on the floor. Not as great an outside shooter. His numbers have dropped off this year. Not looking to score as much outside, but when he puts the ball down the floor, great explosive step to get by. You know, we say that he's not scoring as much, but then you'll look at the final score sheet, and it's things like that that show up. Steals the lead. Falker got it stripped. But a whistle and a foul, that'll go against Foster. But it's the little things that Darren Brooks has been able to do in his career. Fills up the stat sheet. Everywhere you look, he leads Southern Illinois in every category. Points scored, steals, rebounds, assists. It's all across the board. He's just a complete player for Southern Illinois. And when they have struggled, I think, is when Darren Brooks' game hasn't been on track. I mean, he's a guy that I think he leads by example, and the other guys follow. Falker hits the first. He's on the board. With that uh, free throw out of St. Louis, Missouri, and Gateway Tech, Randall Falker, a 6-7 redshirt freshman. One of two from the free throw line, but kept alive by Owen. He was the sixth man of the year last season in the Valley. And Lamar, Lamar Owen. Start, started the season out Dan Starton for Southern Illinois, but they've moved him back to the bench. I think he's more comfortable coming off the bench. Gives him that quick energy burst. Hairston, his second three of this ball game. Southern, their biggest lead of the night. It's at six. A 13-0 run by the Salukis. And it starts at this end, the defense. Looks like a travel, no call, and now a foul on Tony Young. Well, if you're looking for the season's hottest styles, look no further than Aeropo Style. They provide the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls. Store locations, visit their website at A-E-R-O-P-O-S-T-A-L-E.com. Aeropostyle.com. Proud sponsor of the MBC. I know you're writing that down, Pipe. You got all the letters. Well, I'm just always worried about you spelling it correctly. It's always a struggle, believe me. <laughs> Hairston had it, then lost it to Jacobson. Northern Iowa trying to give a little bit of that turnover medicine back to Southern Illinois. Northern Iowa not a great defensive team. They are a great offensive team, though, and Southern Illinois has taken them out of our offense so far. Three is up, rattles out. Hairston had it, keeps it. No second chance opportunities for Northern Iowa. Young for three. Oh, the put back by Randall Falker out of nowhere. And a timeout taken by Northern Iowa. Well, you talk about a little bit of energy and it's usually Lamar Owen, but watch Randall Falker just come the elbows up and clears right through with the finish, and he has given Southern Illinois big minutes off the bench, replacing Josh Warren. No box out for Northern Iowa. Mike Dale underneath there, clears John Godfrey out, and there's Randall Falker coming from the backside. Watch the purple jerseys now. Everybody's turning and looking. John Godfrey takes out Mike Dale, but nobody comes and helps him. And Eric Coleman late coming over to get for the rebound, and Randall Falker crashing the boards. We talked about second chance opportunities being a key for Southern Illinois. They have the athletic ability to do it inside, and Randall Falker has that size and strength to get in there and help them. Well, for Northern Iowa, 13 total possessions, and they've got six turnovers. Matter of fact, five of those turnovers in the lax uh, six possessions. So. It starts defensively on the other end. Let's give Southern Illinois a lot of credit. That's where it's really been starting. And that's the way this program has been built over the last four years, is doing it on the defensive end first. Biggest lead of the night for the Saluki, 17-9. Here's Crawford. 
Now to Brooks McCowan off a pick. Jacobson at the head of the key. Randall got Harrison with a great job inside, not allowing Eric Coleman to get position. Well, you're right. We're battling underneath. Shot clock, single digits. Jacobson pulls up for the three. No. Fall for the rebound. Great defensive stand by the Salukis. Well, no opportunities whatsoever for Northern Iowa right now. They've got to have somebody else help out Ben Jacobson, provide some kind of aggressive look at the basket. This is Mike Dale, his first action off the bench. And that's an offensive foul against Lamar Owen away from the basketball. Five and a half minutes has been the scoring drought now for Northern Iowa after the very good start. At one point, they led it 9-2. to two. Well, I saw Northern Iowa at Southwest Missouri State early in the season. It took them about eight minutes to score in that game, able to get it back together. This is a very good Northern Iowa team. See the last field goal about five and a half minutes ago. This Northern Iowa team, once they get it going, though, they can be pretty effective offensively. And after the uh, missed shot, the loose ball picked up by Tatum. And he throws it out of bounds. A little careless that time, and we'll step aside. 11.56 to go, first half. You're watching the Missouri Valley Conference. Game of the Week presented by State Farm. The defending champs putting on a show at home. Randall Falker, 17-9. Introducing new Purina Puppy Chow. It's non-stop nutrition that builds the digestive system, replenishes vital organs, and repairs muscle cells. Very new Purina Puppy Chow. It helps your puppy thrive. Wow, this place is really nice. Well, I wanted to make tonight special. That's why I got you this. Honey, you didn't have to get me anything. Go ahead, open it. The best part of my are these platinum yes yes they are looking for that special part we've got more than a hundred thousand of them o'reilly auto parts better parts better prices oh honey they're perfect i want the first item on my to-do list to be tear up to-do list i want to stop putting sticky notes on everything i want to stop multitasking and start unitasking i want to unschedule my life unprioritize i don't want to circle back and touch base. I want a loaf. Let my organizational skills get rusty. Really rusty. At National City, we want to make banking simple for lives that aren't. I don't want to be in the loop. Introducing new Dog Chow Little Bites. It's non-stop nutrition that builds the digestive system, replenishes vital organs, and repairs muscle cells. New Dog Chow Little Bites. It helps your dog thrive. Our score is 17-9 as we welcome you back to Southern Illinois. Saluki's with the lead, 11.56 to go. I'll tell you what, Chris, it starts, like we said, on the defensive end. Well, Southern Illinois active, getting coming from behind. Darren Brooks popping the ball out. The great help side defense by Randall Falker being aware of where the ball was. And then again, Darren Brooks playing off. Southern Illinois really doing everything right defensively, seeing the man, seeing the balls playing off defensively, and done a great job other than four straight turnovers. And you convert it there. Points off turnovers, Saluki's 8-0. Northern Iowa has not had any second chance opportunities. No offensive rebounds thus far. The Salukis with four in this game. Two of those, Randall Falker impressively underneath. Getting the job done. Well, not doing it on the offensive end as well, but great defense. Watch him inside guarding Eric Coleman. Plays great position defense, denying the ball in the right stop spots, pushing from behind underneath. Falker inside after the miss by John Little. It's 17-9, Southern Illinois. This is Randall Falker to Lamar Owen, former Mr. Soccer in the state of Kentucky. Hairston, who has two threes. How about a third? You bet. Stetson Hairston on fire here in the first half. Double-digit lead. Well, he had good success against Northern Iowa the last time these teams played. Three from four from the three-point line. 
Prairie Farms NBC Scholar Athlete of the Week. Shannon Deshant, a junior soccer forward from Marion, Iowa. Deshant, a first team Valley selection in 2004, currently carrying a 3.6 GPA. Also uh, the team's leading scorer, six goals for the Panthers last year. And it's 29 Southern Illinois. Stetson Hairston, 11 of the uh, Saluki's first 20 points and uh, three of those coming from, uh, or rather three three-pointers coming here in the first nine minutes or so. You know, when I first saw this Southern Illinois team about three years ago and saw Darren Brooks and Stetson Hairston, at that time I really thought Stetson Hairston was going to be the better player of the two. Brooks has gotten much better, but Stetson Hairston got a lot of talent. Owen kept it alive to Tatum. Here's Brooks, who's been quiet so far. Leans in and gets the roll. Darren Brooks. Well, he's just so tough off the dribble. He's so strong up above. You can't get over there and stop him. You've got to get somebody to come help. I think it's almost impossible to stop him one on one once he gets those shoulders even with you. Crawford. And they still can't answer. A drought that is uh, entering eight minutes now. Tatum. How quick is that? Oh, just explosive once he gets in the lane. Watch Jamal Tatum come down the lane now. Right about there, he's going to turn it on. Just explosive, just puts on the afterburners, gets a shoulder by Ben Jacobson again. Here it goes. Watch when he just gives a little shoulder, and then boom, blows right on past Ben Jacobson. You say that's on the floor. A fresh 35 for the Salukis on quite a run now as they opened up this lead to 22 9. This is Mike Dale with the basketball to Owen in the lane. Can't finish. Crawford picks up the miss. Well, out of bounds underneath Northern Iowa goes with zone. I'm not so sure they shouldn't try a little more zone against Southern Illinois. Mix things up a little bit defensively on Southern Illinois. Try and get them in a position where. They don't just come down the floor and know it automatically what they're going to run. Foster the leaner. Offensive foul. The last three possessions now from Northern Iowa. Dan, not too bad looks. They just missed the first two. And now again, the great help coming over from the weak side. Lamar Owen sliding over, taking the charge on Chris Foster driving down. Great weak side help tonight by Southern Illinois. Playing off the ball. Being in a position to help out defensively. Well, here's the line the last eight and a half minutes for Northern Iowa. As Hairston thought about the three. Seven turnovers, and they're 0 for 9. It's not going to win you many games. Not at all, especially on the road. Brooks for three. And right now, Southern Illinois is turning it up a notch or two. They are on fire. 25 to 9. Fans rising to their feet. They're going to call that on Darren Brooks. A 21-0 run for Southern Illinois. Unbelievable. Hitting shots, stepping out for a three. Really good mixture on the offensive end. You know, they're not relying on the three every time. They're taking the three in rhythm. And when they don't have it, when that defense comes out, they've taken the ball and put the ball down and driven to the basket. Brooks will have his seat, five points. He's got two fouls, and with 8.51 to go, you don't take a chance here in the first half. No need. So Crawford snaps that uh, long run for Southern Illinois with his free throw. Well, the important thing, though, to remember is there's a lot of game left. This Northern Iowa team has the ability offensively to put some points on the board. Plus, Southern Illinois, though, they've I've seen them go stagnant many times this year on the offensive end. And sometimes... Chris, as you well know, you get that big lead and uh, you get very stagnant. Sometimes you get sloppy trying to impress the home fans. Well, plus you got Darren Brooks sitting on the bench, too. Right. Here's Dale on the wing. To Owen. Now to Tatum. Penetrating inside, kicks it out to Dale, but a travel. On Tatum. 8.26 to go, first half. The NBC presented by State Farm. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin with you from SIU Arena. Foster matched up with Tatum. Here's Jacobson looking for help. Crawford for three. And Lamar Owen picks up the miss to Tatum. 
And Southern Illinois will set it up. Hairston, his 4-3, no. And Jacobson picks up the rebound. Guarded looks every time by Northern Iowa. I get the feeling that they think that they, if they make that extra pass one time that they've got enough space, but Southern Illinois quick enough, athletic enough to be able to regroup and get there. They call a hold underneath against Matt Schaub. We'll step aside from SIU Arena, the Missouri Valley Conference, presented by State Farm, 25-11. Saluki's on top at home. Why can't I come up? Sorry, Sarah, but there's no girls allowed. Not even girls with old recipe ice cream. <laughs> Prairie Farms Premium Old Recipe Ice Cream is full of all the homemade goodness that smart women know kids love. So from now on, there are going to be some new rules around here. Huh? Okay? Mm -hmm. Taste the homemade goodness of Old Recipe Ice Cream. If you enjoy Branson's world-class entertainment, then you'll love Branson's world-class resort, Chateau on the Lake. On a majestic mountaintop overlooking Table Rock Lake, you'll find a grand hotel in the European tradition. The service is impeccable. The surroundings elegant. It's pure luxury all the way. It's what you deserve. Come experience Chateau on the Lake, Branson's only world-class resort. Call 1-888-333-LAKE for reservations. Mr. Howard? David. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. Be who I am. I know you love me. And we all this cash. In Carbondale, it has been all Salukis. If you take away the first two minutes of this ball game, 25-11, Southern Illinois, the number one team in this conference, with the lead here at home, with 7:41 to go. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin, with you. It has been a rough start for Northern Iowa, considering uh, they're up to the school's best record at this point into a season since 1989. And you think about the best start ever, and you have to go back to 1963. And a guy named Norm Stewart started Northern Iowa at 19 and 1. The uh, former Missouri coach and uh, a big supporter of the Missouri Valley Conference, Norm Stewart. I know he's watching at home. He's got to be watching out in California. He never misses a Panthers game on television. Here's Josh Warren. Wonder if coach is watching and thinking about the fact that I'm, I'm standing and sitting next to a <laughs> KU grad. It's got to be a, a torn household watching that uh, this, always, this broadcast. I thought there was always uh, warm love between Missouri and Kansas. <laughs> a zone shown by Northern Iowa. And Tatum says, I'm going to take the three and knocks it down. Southern Illinois is now 11 of 20 shooting and five of eight from three-point territory. Tough to guard them when they're hitting the shot from the outside, spreading them out a little bit. Well, Niles gonna have to extend that defense. Southern has not hurt them inside in the paint other than off the dribble. Here's Jacobson. That's too wide open for him. You know the thing that amazes me about him, though, is, is he doesn't ever let anybody affect his shot. I mean. Hairston was right there, swung at him, and the peripheral vision, and he's still able to hit it. Tatum answers with his second consecutive three. Now Jamal Tatum's been struggling a little bit from three this year. His numbers have dropped, but you know, his ability to put the ball down on the floor only helps that outside shot. We say his numbers have dropped, and they have. It's still in his career over a 40% three-point shooter. And Tatum has hit two consecutively. And now we uh, take a look at the NBC scoreboard. Wichita State will keep an eye on this game. 16-3 on top of uh, SMS. 
Again, if Wichita State would lose that ball game, and it looks like they're off to that great start up by 13 early on, though, and the Salukis would win, then the Salukis at least have a share of the conference championship. I think we're probably going to be watching that Saturday night yep. here when Wichita State comes. Well, going back to Tatum, you know, 46% last year from three kind of helps those career numbers. He shot the ball extremely well out there. So fast with the ball, though. 6.25 to go. One of two from the free throw line for Northern Iowa. 31-17. Dale brings it up. And here's Tatum. Trying to step through the double team. He can't. Nearly threw it away. Dale kicks it out. Shaw just inside the arc. No. Dale, the putback. No. Yes, on that putback. Josh Warren, the fifth-year senior, put it in on the uh, tip-in. Now, no reason for Northern Iowa to give up offensive second chance opportunities inside. They got Grant Stout and Eric Coleman back on the floor with that size in the paint. They've got to do a better job of boxing out. Crawford. Now they find the open man after the Coleman pass. No. Underneath Crawford trying to find help. A kick there by Matt Shaw. So a fresh 35 for Northern Iowa. Stay around at uh, halftime, the Cardinal Glennon halftime report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, our love for kids just keeps on growing. A telling stat in this game has been second chance opportunities. Southern uh, Illinois with 13 second chance points. Northern Iowa, none. none. That's not going to help you very much, no. You know, the game really. It's so tough to score once you get in league play, and those second chance opportunities, points off turnovers, and transition buckets, that can mean all the difference in the world. Tatum whistled for the reach in. I think another telling stat in this game is the fact that Eric Coleman, who averages 11, the freshman, has been held only three points. A very quiet night for Eric. Yeah, and Grant Stout, the only points that he's had is at the free throw line. This is looking. He's got three now, and you know, Northern Iowa, we said early that one of the keys for them was Grant Stout and Eric Coleman, how they play. You generally know that Ben Jacobs and Eric Crawford are going to give you minutes, give you good points on the floor, but it's the two guys inside that can make a big difference for them. One of the best uh, shot blockers in the Valley. Stout was 60-plus this year. Hits them both. Under five and a half to play, first half, 33-19. Darren Brooks back in the game with those two fouls. This is Dale, 4-3. Wow. And this zone is not working, obviously, for Northern Iowa as the threes have been raining in for Southern Illinois here in this first half. Well, Greg McDermott, Northern Iowa, they always play man defense. They're not used to playing zone. They're kind of getting forced into the zone, I think, a little bit, just trying to find something. And if you're not... A team that practices zone, you probably don't communicate very well on the backside there, and you're going to give up those threes. This is John Little. Crawford. Guarded by Hairston, leans in off the glass. No. Shaw. The rebound to Darren Brooks, the All American candidate. To Hairston. Thought about the three. Fans want a foul, no call. Shaw. Now it uh, looks like back to man-to-man, to man, and it is for uh, Northern Iowa. Brooks hit the deck, and the fans want to follow away from the basketball, but they don't get it. Ten on the shot clock. Dale trying to penetrate, spinning, looking for help. Here's Shaw, baseline, no good. Kept alive by Dale as he knocks it out to Stetson Hairston. Under four minutes to play, fresh 35. Just everything going Southern Illinois' way, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, an ugly offensive possession by Southern Illinois, but yet they come back with the offensive rebound. Dale, deep three. Ill-advised shot. And here comes Northern Iowa. Now Mike Dale hasn't scored in the three games since he's come back from that ankle injury that he had against Bradley. He missed three games, had limited minutes since. Shaw whistled for that foul underneath. It's been all Salukis raining in these three. Seven of 12 from behind the arc so far tonight. Southern Illinois on top.
When visiting Des Moines, stay at the Sheraton West Des Moines. This exceptional hotel features a 10-story garden atrium, a five-story waterfall, 288 tastefully appointed guest rooms that include 63 one- and two-room suites. Listen, when you're visiting Des Moines for business or pleasure, you'll enjoy the indoor pool and the two restaurants. The Sheraton West Des Moines, conveniently located at the intersections of I-80, I-35, and I-235 at the University Avenue exit. Meet Bob. Bob went to Arizona. His friend went to Nebraska. And their other friend, Florida State. Now they all live together in L.A. So how do they follow their favorite college teams? With Fox College Sports, featuring over 800 NCAA games each year on three regionally aligned channels. FCS Pacific, FCS Central, and FCS Atlantic. All the games that matter in one powerful package. You're watching Fox College Sports. For more information on program listings, log on to foxcollegesports.com. Fox College Sports, where college never ends. This is the morning glory round. Dear, I want you to come and see the Jasmine Garden. Isn't it lovely? Adorable. Excuse me, where's the TV? Television. <laughs> Get the sports information you need anywhere with Fox Sports Mobile. Play-by-play -play action, up-to-the-minute scores and news. Fox Sports Mobile, your sports lifeline. Lead up 36-19 with 3.37 to go. Dan McLaughlin, Chris Piper with you. The NBC presented by State Farm and three-point shooting. A big story in this game. Yeah, it has. And the way they've been doing it, too. The inside, outside there, kicking the ball out to Darren Brooks. And then Jamal Tatum just on just a regular dribble going left. And Northern Iowa sagging off so much inside. They've allowed Southern Illinois to have good looks from the three-point line. Seven of 12 now. For Southern Illinois and Northern Iowa has to extend that defense. Pipe, if uh, you're Greg McDermott, what do you do here? You, you've done the zone defense, you've gone to man to man, and uh, neither has worked so far. Well, you got to talk to you guys about getting up and playing a little defense. I mean, it's that simple. That, that replay with Jamal Tatum, all he did was a simple couple of dribbles to the left, had a wide open shot. You got to get out and guard. I think one of the problems that he's seen with this guard, so. It's they've given up so much quickness outside. They're afraid of getting beat on the dribble. That's when you got to talk about weak side help. You just come out, allow Southern Illinois to have those wide open threes. I don't know until they start showing that they cannot make them. Brent Stout hits two free throws to cut this lead. 36-21, three and a half to play first half. And I think the difference that we're seeing on the two sides, though, Dan, is when Northern and Iowa has thought they've had a good look from the three, Southern Illinois has been great in the pursuit, getting a hand in their face. Here's Brooks. He's been held to five so far. May have forced that off the front iron, and it's pulled away by Grant Stout, the sophomore from Iowa. Yeah, a step back uh, jumper about 20 feet. It's probably not what they're looking for. Rarely will you see Brooks force a shot. Force anything really. Here's Jacobson. Couldn't handle the pass. Coleman fed it to him. And it's stolen away by Mike Dale, the sophomore from Fairview Heights, Illinois. Brooks off a pick. Inside to Shaw. Backing his man in. Little pump fake. Nice move inside by Matt Shaw. Highly touted freshman, a first team All State performer last year from Centralia, Illinois. And great patience, Dan. Just took the dribble, backed in, waited for the defense to react. They did not. Nobody came over to double and took a little baby hook over the top. Trying to feed it to Coleman. Gets it. Jacobson has 2 3 so far in this first half. Wide open, Crawford. Barely drew iron. Coleman, though, has it. Fans thought he pushed off to get there. No call. Inside, Stout against Warren. Trying to find room and uh, battled Warren and made the play off the glass. Two minutes to go in our first half. A first half that has been dominated by the Salukis after the first two minutes. Remember, to start this game, Northern Iowa led 9-2. Dale for three. No. Warren the offensive rebound to Brooks. And the adjustment defensively by Northern Iowa. That time they went to double Eric Coleman on the far side, and that allowed Josh Warren to get in position on the weak side for that offensive rebound. Jacobson looking for help. Crawford now to Coleman. He spins, and the lefty knocks it down. But you want him to spin. You want him to spin that direction. Well, that's exactly right. They made him go the direction he went to, which is over his right shoulder, and still able to come up with it. He's a lefty, and he loves to go to the left side. 
favors that, but able to go over the top. And that Northern Iowa has to try and get something going on inside to relieve a little pressure on the perimeter. Hairston to Warren, to Dale. They swing it around to Brooks. Lost the handle. And it will stay with the Southern Illinois. 12 on the shot clock. The Valley takes its TV cameras around the conference. These properties serve as the league's home away from home. We hope you visit their websites or call these properties when following your favorite Valley team on the road. Randall Falker back in the game, as well as Tony Young, the sophomore. And Josh Warren, there's a look at Josh. He'll have a seed with 104 to play. 12 on the shot clock for the Salukis. Off the inbound, Falker stepping through the left hand. Randall Falker off the bench with seven points. Well, big minutes for him, Dan, coming off the bench. I mean, he's so big and strong inside. I think he's really going to be a player for the future for Southern Illinois. Under a minute to play. Jacobson, tough shot, no good. Shaw the rebound. Here comes Southern. A difference of about three seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. Young will just pull it back. He waits and we wait and the crowd rises. And a foul against the Panthers, John Little. The sixth team foul, the first personal on Little. Crowd on their feet, 12 on the shot clock, 15.4 to go, first half. Here's Shaw. Now it's Mike Dale. Dale, Falker, baseline shot, no good. Hairston is there, a whistle on the floor, and that will go against Little again, I believe. And it is. He picks up two fouls in a span of 15 seconds. 3.8 to go in our first half. And at the line, it is Stetson Hairston, who has had a tremendous first half. The yes. senior from Fairview Heights, Illinois, and Belleville East High School. This is start number 120 of his career. And he is the only starter that uh, remains from that Sweet 16 team a few years ago. Over 1,000 points, over 500 rebounds, just the 15th player to do that in school history. Honored before the game tonight. Hairston, the lefty eyes it up, no good. Pulled away by Crawford. Crawford will let it fly. Long shot, no good, but what a first half for Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois shoots 49%. And 7 of 14 from behind the arc, 50% to lead this. Our Mercy Health plans for the second half. Let's check in with Chris Piper. Chris. All right, thanks, Dan. Coach, uh, you get rid of a few turnovers early and pretty much a perfect half for you guys in the first half. What were your thoughts? Well, I think we got to play hard without fouling. I think we're fouling a little bit too much. and uh, They're not going to let us be that physical, so we got to get our hands out and play with a little more intensity. All right, thanks for coming over. Good luck in the second half. Mercy Health Plans, an innovative health management company empowering members to make healthy choices. Mercy, Mercy Health Plans, the way we care makes all the difference. Mercy Health Plans. We'll step aside. It's halftime from SIU Arena. The Valley, presented by State Farm. It's 4025. She had her license for 45 minutes. <laughs> and two accidents in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm State Farm Agent Kevin Weber, and this is a true story. Yeah, I was scared. I didn't want to call my parents. I called her parents. He really treated her like she was his own daughter. I handled her claim and gave her a few pointers. A lot of pointers. <laughs> a lot of pointers. Any insurance company can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Do you have ingrown toenails? Constipation. Hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids. Diarrhea could be. That little itch might be tough. Remove back here the. Say no to B.O. Commercials. That's why we keep our heads out the window. Buddy, it's time to get serious. Serious Satellite Radio. Over 120 channels, including commercial free music, plus news, talk, and sports. Want radio your way? Ride with the big dog. Serious Satellite Radio. Oh, yeah. I just hope this Brian guy is not a jerk. His name's not Brian. It's not? What is it, Bob? No. 
I know it starts with a B, right? Ben? No. Blair. I said Bill, right? Yeah. Is it Bill? No. Byron? No. Brady? No. Blake? No. Uh -uh. Have a nice flight. And go easy on Stephen. Stephen, I know it. Uh huh. Whatever. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. Now, there's a place where college never ends. Fox College Sports. The new network that brings you nearly 500 games from conferences like the ACC, Pac-10, and more. Plus, local coaches shows and news from around the country. This is the network college basketball fans always dreamed of. You're watching Fox College Sports. For more information on program listings, log on to foxcollegesports.com. The best damn sports show period. Weeknights on FSN. The State Farm Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By John Q. Hammond's Hotels, the leading independent owner and manager of upscale hotels and meeting facilities. By the Prairie Farms family of dairies. Prairie Farms, Highland and Roberts Dairy, serving Mid-America with quality fresh dairy products every day. By Pepsi-Cola, the official soft drink of the Missouri Valley Conference. And by Purina Dog Chow. Incredible dog food, incredible dogs. Welcome back to the Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital Halftime Report. Our score at the half, Southern Illinois 40, Northern Iowa 25. We obviously did not bring our step ladder because I need it when I stand up and do this with you at halftime or during the open. It's Chris Piper. I'm Dan McLaughlin. It was a first half in the first 20 minutes just dominated by uh, Southern Illinois. Yeah, dominating performance. You know, they had about four turnovers early that helped Northern Iowa stick around and also put them to the free throw line. Ten of the 25 points for Northern Iowa from the free throw line. But other than that, it's nitpicking if you're trying to find something that Southern Illinois did wrong. Let's take a look at the newcomer of the week in the Missouri Valley Conference, and it is Matt Shaw back in the starting lineup now for Southern Illinois again tonight. Last week he averaged 11 points, seven rebounds, and wins over Illinois State and Kent State in the bracket buster game. And since becoming a starter, the Salukis are seven and one with a five-game winning streak. It's brought to you by GHP. Do you need for family or individual health insurance? GHP choose a great health plan for your family. Visit www.ghp.com. Randall Falker and the rest of Southern Illinois. They have been dominating this game. And there's Matt Shaw, the young man that's the newcomer of the week in the Valley. It's 40-25. Saluki's with the lead after 20 minutes of play. The Just Read program is proudly presented by State Farm and the Missouri Valley Conference. State Farm is pleased to participate with the Missouri Valley Conference in helping our young people develop their reading skills. We're especially proud that many of our student athletes are joining us in this effort to help children realize reading is not only fun, but can be the key to their future success. State Farm is committed to improving the education of all our young people. We believe this partnership with the Missouri Valley Conference will help these children discover the joy of a lifetime of reading. On this particular morning, students at Thomas Elementary School in Carbondale had the chance to read with the dogs. While the kids certainly enjoyed their new reading partners, they weren't the only ones getting something out of the morning. There's so much you can get out of this with help with coming back and helping little kids, because I can remember when I was younger how important it is to have older kids that really care about you and that'll take the time out of their day to come and, you know, read with you. The Just Read program is proudly presented by State Farm and the Missouri Valley Conference. the cave and I'm standing there by the pool of water alone like I am in all of my dreams and it just brought up a whole bunch of issues that uh what if teddy możemy zacząć dopiero pracować 
Using a broker you can't understand doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones speaks in a language you can understand, so financial decisions get the attention they deserve. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Why are people falling for banquet homestyle bakes? Because it's one heavy box packed with tender chicken, savory vegetables, and a golden biscuit topping that makes one complete real meal. Banquet Homestyle Bakes. It's all you need to pick up. Introducing the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee. With an available Hemi V8 and Quadra Drive 2, our most advanced available four-wheel drive system ever. The new 2005 Liberty. With an available 210 horsepower V6 and choice of available rugged four-wheel drive systems. And the spacious and extremely capable Wrangler Unlimited. Go ahead, let it snow. Get zero plus, zero percent financing plus February bonus cash for total savings of up to $6,800 on Liberty. What happens when you add real flour to the unbeatable no-stick power of Pam? Pam for baking, specially created to evenly reach every nook and cranny so your most challenging baked goods just come out better. Pam for baking, another reason Pam...